Hi everyone, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel. So um, in the last video, I asked people just to give me some ideas of videos that they'd like to see and one of the most requested was a complete Louis Vuitton collection. So I have everything laid out here in front of me and I'll just get started because it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> so I'm going to start um, a little and work my way up to larger. So I'm going to start with these two. These are, um, you know, they've changed the names. I, I think they're just called like a key. I don't know what they're called anymore. I, I just call them clays is, is what I've always known them as. Um, and that's like C L E S. Um, so I'm, I think that's, uh, that's clay. This is my red one. This is in the, um, red epi. This bad boy is 10 years old. I mean, and look at it. Epi leather, folks, for your money, is probably the most durable um, leather. It holds its shape, its color. It does not mark. It does not scratch. And I mean, this just gets thrown into the bottom of handbags. And I mean, even look at the corners. It's just, it's in great shape. So this is the one that holds my keys. And if I am running out and I really just want to take this, I can throw some cash in here. It'll fit a couple of cards. If you know anything about London, it holds an Oyster card, which is sort of a card um, that gets you onto the bus, onto the tube, any public transport. And um, so this is the Red Epi. This is an older um, clay in the Verney, I think it's called Marshmallow. And right now it's got um, three pieces of gum and a pen. And a penny. <laughs> and I think what I did is I took this out one night and I just wanted to have some gum in case, you know, I, I had garlic and had the breath. And then, um, but a lot of times I will hang this on um, one of my bags that I'll show you in a second as sort of a purse charm. Um, so this is the the marshmallow vernie, vernie, whatever. Okay, so those are clays. Um, next thing up are mini pochettes. I have two of them. This one is from last autumn winter and it's from the trunks and locks. Um, I don't know what the name is. I just knew that I loved it. I loved the stripe. I loved the stripe of the little trunk on the front and um, it just has the print plain brown interior. Um, these I generally use for, honestly, I'm going to be honest. There's nothing you really can't use these for. This holds cards and it holds the an iPhone 5 and it holds a clay all at one time and it holds cash and if you have a smaller handbag you can put lipstick and powder and a mascara like a full face of makeup as long as you're not putting big bottles of foundation these are fantastic and then the other thing that I like is that they've got these chains you can make it into like a little handbag but I usually carry mine and I have like a little wristlet and so I feel safe and secure when I'm walking around London in terms of like a Louis Vuitton starter piece, I'm kind of torn, but in terms of practicality and what you could use it for, I would probably opt with um, a mini pochette. I just, I love these. And they're iconic and they come in both, they come in all the prints. And then this one is the Damier, sorry, I have got allergies or something today, I apologize. Um, this is the Damier's, or I don't know, well it's the Trunks and Bags um, edition. I want to say this one is, I don't know how old it is and I'm not going to look at the date code. It's several years old though. So these are these two and I use them all the time. This one lately more um, because I've been carrying my, um, one of my monogram, classic monogram bags. So those are those. Next up I have, I'll do bigger push-ups now. This one, okay, this is a large, this is an old one. This is like when they first, literally first came out in the, I want to say 2000. I want to say this one, they, they came out in like 1999 or 2000 or something like that. Um, and they came with like a little leather strap and I could be totally wrong. I'm just going by memory and it, that's, you know, that's a pretty long time ago. Um, they had like a little leather strap and people were getting them as kind of like a starter handbag because they do hold quite a lot. I got this as a gift. I use it for makeup. Um, I don't care that the inside has gotten messed up. I, um, I don't know. I just, and it does hold quite a lot. This is one of the ambient lighting powder. There's just a bunch of stuff in there and there's still plenty of room. 
Um, so I have this one and then I have the next size down. However, this isn't one I believe that was ever sold. I used to have a bucket bag a long time ago and I'm pretty sure that this was the pouch that came along with the bucket bag that's like leashed to the bag and I think I had taken this out <laughs> and it got misplaced and so when I got rid of the bucket bag, it, it just went without this and then this showed up. So um, this one I use, um, I mean you can use it for anything, makeup, you can use it as a small clutch if you're going out. Um, you can really never have too many of these, especially when it comes to purse organization. I know that I use this one for makeup. Sometimes in my Birkin, I'll put this one with um, like a bag hook and some baby wipes and just, you know, random things. But this one's currently out of rotation. It's just sort of sitting in my bedroom. So these are the two pochettes that I have in this size. And then I also have, which comes with one of the purses that I'll show you in a second. I have the one of the newer Neverfulls. And they come with these pouches. My advice, if I were you and you were me and all things equal, I would try to find one of the Neverfulls without the pouches and not pay the extra money and here's why. I'm not saying that this is not a useful piece. It's quite large. Um, this is the large pochette next to it to give you an idea. So it's quite a bit bigger. It's not that much smaller than a regular piece of like writing paper. It's a little bit more narrow. The problem is, is that it's flat. It's not gusseted. Um, so, whereas this, across the bottom, you can see that it's square. This is literally just flat. So, what I have found that you can do with this, and that it's actually quite functional, if you travel a lot, this holds all your travel documents. Holds your passport, holds foreign currency, holds your boarding passes. Um, but in terms of like a day-to-day -day use, it's got a white cloth interior, at least for this color bag. Um, it doesn't really fit, let me show you, it doesn't really fit makeup without being kind of awkward. I didn't mean for this to turn into a review, by the way, I apologize. But see, it kind of goes wonky if you put anything in there, and that's all that's in there, and it wouldn't really hold too much more. So as an actual, like, makeup bag or SSWA bag, pouch, it's not really that functional. If you were using it as a... I don't know. I mean, you could definitely use it as like a document holder or something like that, but I really, 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 really would have loved for them to have done something, even a small version of this, just something that had like the flat bottom, the gusseted bottom. Um, your mileage may vary. Your opinion may be different than mine. I'm just telling you kind of how I feel about this. Um, this really only comes out when I'm traveling um, and I need to take a bunch of paperwork. And it's nice because it's light and I can put it in any bag. And of course, it's, you know, it's the coated canvas so it's really really sturdy so that's that piece um before I get onto those really quick just a small agenda this is another one that's in the red epi again I don't know how old this one is and I'm not digging for the date code but it's several years old and I mean I swear this is I don't know what they do to this particular leather but it just doesn't it just doesn't mark and it doesn't age. I don't yet generally splurge for the Louis Vuitton inserts because I just get these cute ones from a store here in London called Paper Chase and I kind of like the little, I just think it looks cute. And then I've got like a little tube map and I actually don't need the tube map for myself. I just use it in case I've got, you know, run into somebody and they're like, hey, do you know how to get to? I can show them on the map. Um, this is actually a great one though. It's got some card slots and some pockets. I think there's pockets, yeah, pockets on both sides. And this is great, and it's actually pretty small. It's not very heavy, fits in your bag. It's a great piece. And again, this is red because at the bottom of most bags, it's a lot easier to find. When I need this, I need it, and I need it now. So that's that one. And then um, the last two of the small leather goods that I have are makeup bags. I have the large or grand model or whatever makeup pouch and then I've got the smaller one and these are nice because they're lined in leather so they kind of wipe up a little bit better they really do hold a ton this one has got so many random things I've got an eyeglass wipe I've got just hand you know just all kinds of stuff they really do fill though pretty pretty well and it's because they've got that wide bottom so they're deceptively small but they hold a ton 
This is the larger one. Okay, I can legitimately, if I'm traveling overnight and I don't need a ton of stuff and I know exactly what I'm going to need and I don't need 13 lipsticks, you know, to get me through, um, if I sort of have my face mapped out, I can carry travel size, oh, and this one's got the red interior. I can carry travel size of all of my skincare and then a, a day's worth of makeup and use this as an overnight travel and have no problem. As you can see, like I said, this thing is full. And I don't know what I did with all the makeup that was, oh, it was in the other one. Um, and I'm not, I have a ton in there and I'm, I still have a ton of room left to fill this. So this is a great bag. And um, if you could only have like one makeup bag, assuming this fit in all of your bags, I would definitely do this because this makes a really, really good like overnight bag. And because it has that leather lining, it, it wipes up pretty clean. Um, I'll do these next. This is the Steven Sprouse um, Leopard Shaw. It's got like the pink graffiti. I'm not gonna open this up because I'm almost ashamed of this one. It legitimately looks like a wild animal that I caught on Safari. It is so full of tears and snags and holes and like, can you see the, you probably can't see them. No, you're not gonna be able to see them. There's just a bunch of snags and, but once it's all wound up and it's all, it's fine. And these are 70% 70, 70 cashmere, 30% silk. So they are so soft and so warm. And I, you know, I just, but I love it and I'll never get rid of it. It'll have to disintegrate one day and then I'll finally give it a proper burial. But until then I'm rocking it until there's nothing left to rock. And then the last shawl that I have, this is the denim in the Noir and it's sort of a darker gray on one and then, wait, ah, and then the lighter. So you can sort of wear this, there we go. You can sort of wear this, um, either side. I generally wear it so that this is the side um, that, you know, is seen. But the way I wind it, it, it it's all, you know, interspersed and I don't, I'm not really picky about it. Um, this is another one that's extremely warm. Um, these are silk and wool, I believe. And um, it's going to take me 15 minutes to find the tag, I'm sure, because they are heavy. Um, I will say, that if I had to only have, see I can't even find the tag, if I could only invest in one, I would probably go with a denim, one of the denim shawls. I might have taken the tag off because the tags bugged me. I probably took the tag off. Um, these are really fantastic and they're warm and they're huge. So on an airplane, you can really stick them around your shoulders to stay warm. They always look good. They dress up an outfit and for the price, I think these are fantastic. So that's the denim shawl in Noir. And then the last pieces that I have, and I'm sorry, this is already 13 minutes, you guys, is I've got my handbags. So I'm going to start oldest to newest. And my oldest I showed the other day, which has gotten, oh gosh, and I forgot, this guy, here's the, ban, uh, the bandeau, bandeau. Um, I showed it in an unboxing in um, a previous video, and I had tied that one to the Noe. Let me move this back just a little bit. And this is a Noe. This is my oldest bag. I've had this one since... 1997, eight, 1998, this is 1998. And this is the large one. And this bad boy has been everywhere with me. I love it. But I, like I've said in other videos, I don't baby my bags. It's a bag and I need it to be a functional bag, but that has taken its toll. You can see <laughs> it has like, where's the, one of the corners is really, really bad. Ah, this one has like, you can see, it's just, it's torn up. Um, but for this type of a bag, I kind of dig that look. I like sort of the, um, the used look. And that's, that this is supposed to be, I don't want to say it's a small piece of luggage, but it was meant to carry five bottles of champagne, four on their bottoms and then one bottom, you know, top in, you know what I'm saying. This bag, I mean, has seen me through toddlers, um, it fits so much. It's really deep and it just, it holds a ton. And right now it's holding a bunch of PTA stuff. So, um, this has been the one that I've been carrying the last couple of days and I don't mind taking it in the rain, even with the bandeau. And I know people are going to be like, oh, Trina right now is like, but Robin and, and Beth is like, but you should frame it. And I'm no, because I don't, I'm not, that's not how I roll with my bags. And I don't say that in a flippant manner. I don't say that like, 
oh, it's just money, you know. It's not that. It's that for me, the way that I personally enjoy my bags is by using them. And I almost like when they get little scrapes and little scratches and things like that because it shows that I've, I use them and I live with them and I live in them and I just, that that's how I personally enjoy. Some people, the process of keeping their bags in pristine order, that for them is part of the process of loving and enjoying their bags. For me, loving and enjoying my bags is just not worrying about them and setting them on the ground. And I'm not saying that I am careless with them. I am just, I just use them. I would use them in the same way. Like if I had a Primark bag or an H&M bag, I would use it in the same way. I, I just don't discriminate. And that's all, that's, you know, and you're, if that's not how you are with your bags, but again, to stress this point, it's not that because I think that, you know, it's not because I don't recognize the cost of the bags or appreciate the bags. I appreciate what I have very, very much. This, this is just how I personally enjoy them. That's what I'm going to say. Because I had a couple of comments like, geez, you're a little cavalier with your bags. Maybe. I, you know, to some people, I absolutely am. There you go. You, you know, every, different strokes for different folks. There you go. Next in line for um, actual handbags, this is the Duville. Somewhere in storage in the desert in California is the strap that goes from corner to corner. Um, it'll hold a strap there and then a strap there. You can carry it crossbody. I generally didn't because I usually had a lot. This was in it. This was purchased in 2004. 2004. <clears throat> this one's 10 years old. This was purchased for Mother's Day 2004 as a diaper bag for me. And I got this literally three days, this is funny, three days before um, it launched as a as an ad campaign with uh, Jennifer Lopez. And as soon as the ad campaign launched, forget it, you couldn't get them anywhere. And it's actually a piece of luggage, or it was, and the inside is vinyl and it's got these little pouches and then down here, it's got like these elastic loops and it's actually meant to hold shampoo bottles and things like that and all of your toiletries. It's a toiletry bag. Um, but for me, it was the perfect diaper bag. It was very structured, but it held diapers and it held like the little pack of wipes and it held the bottles because I, you know, I needed bottles and sippy cups and stuff like that. And if something spilled, it didn't matter. And I love, love, still to this day, love this bag. It is very roomy. Holds a ton, still looks great as a handbag, um, and because if I'm not carrying a tote, I like my handbags to be quite structured in shape. So this kind of has the bowling bag shape. Um, love this bag. Like I said, this is another one that's got raindrop marks all over it, as you can see. And I just I carry this one in the rain, in the snow, set it on the ground, and the bottom of it still looks fantastic. So except for the gum on the bottom. Um, last two handbags. I have the Neverfull GM. This thing is no joke. It is so big. Um, in the Damier Azor, I got this 11 months ago. Red lining. I think there's probably 3,212 videos on this particular bag on eBay, so I will spare you. Um, the one thing I will do, though, is I also have the Neverfull MM. I don't even think you're going to be able to see much. No, you can't really see a comparison of size, but there you go. Um, so I have the GM in the Azor. I have the MM in, I'm sorry, GM in the Abin. MM in the Azor. I currently have one of the little Lodgery charms that seems like everybody has to have. Um, because I've got Lodgery on my doorstep, I figured I had to have one and I thought that looked really cute over summer. This one was part of my birthday present this year. I got this in June. I got it early because I wanted a, whiter ba a lighter bag for summer. It's starting to nicely patina. And this one holds a ton as well. I've got all kinds of junk in there right now. I'm not really good about keeping my handbags cleaned out, which means that I'm forever trying to search out, you know, sunglasses and where's my credit cards. And so, you know, there you go. 
So that is my Louis Vuitton collection. I think I've got everything. Um, I'll probably come across a piece or two, but I'm pretty sure that's everything. So thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys soon. And I think the next video that I'm planning on doing is, um, I was thinking about doing cold weather skincare, um, especially for, I have, um, it's under control right now, but I have really, really, really bad rosacea and um, very sensitive skin and um, I'm also older, I'm you know 40, not older, I don't mean older, but I you have to do certain things to your skin <laughs> at 40 that you don't have to really think about as much at 20. So kind of finding the balance of anti-aging, things that don't tear up my skin. So that's um, what I'm going to try and film later on this week. Um, might possibly have an unboxing. And um, that's it. So I'll see you all soon. To those of you who have recently subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you for coming over and joining us. And um, please let me know if there's anything that you have request-wise. And otherwise, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.